So for this VLOOKUP, instead of doing it all in the same tab within Excel, I'm going to show you actually how you can copy information from one tab over to another tab. So in this example, I've got a list of videos that I downloaded from my YouTube profile. But what it doesn't have in this particular one is the view count. However, they do send a separate Excel sheet with a list of the view counts. But if you notice on this one, it gives me the video ID, a bunch of information, but it doesn't give me the title, interestingly enough. So, but the one with videos does gives me the title. So I want to copy my view counts over to my one with the videos. So why don't I just do a straight, you know, line them up and copy? Well, if you notice on this one, there is 199 rows, while on this one, there are 247. So this has more data on it than this one. So how do we do this? Take your column. So in my case, I just titled it view count because that's what I'm going to copy. You want to make sure your first one, because what it's doing is it's saying, uh, I want to pull what matches from this column, match it with what's in this column and bring this data over to that one. So first thing you want to do is do a quick sort. And just make sure that it's in, in order. Once you've done that, go to the space where you want to copy to. You want to start typing equals and then VL and it's going to pull up VLOOKUP. So you can click into it double click into it and you see we get this VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. Now you can continue typing in the cell if you want, or you can start typing up here, which is what I'm gonna do just for the purpose of this. So now what it's telling me is it wants to look up a value, right? So what piece of information am I looking up? Well, I'm looking up the value that's in column A2 in this case, right? So I'm gonna type A2. So now I've got that and you can see that it highlighted it so it's looking and it, it's okay we'll get it to go all the way down here in a bit i'm going to hit comma because now i'm on to the next so what am i looking up so this is basically where am i pulling data from so in this case it's not on this tab it's in the other tab so i'm going to click over to it and notice what it does it already titles it metadata exclamation mark so it's saying pull data from this tab and now where's that coming from so I'm going to click on the upper left and I'm just going to hold my mouse down and pull it to the right. So that way I'm saying, okay, I want to pull everything on this. You don't necessarily have to do this. You could just do the columns that you want, but I'm just going to tell it to search through everything. And now rather than dragging it all the way down 200 lines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control shift on my keyboard and then the down arrow. And you see what it does is it takes it so that way every piece of data here is selected. So it will search through this for anything I want it to search for. All right, now hit come again because we told it what to search for. What information do I want it to bring back? I want it to bring back the view count, which is in column I. Well, Excel doesn't want you to put the column letter. It actually wants you to put the number. So count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to type column nine because that way it's telling it to pull from column nine. A call out, let's say instead of data in A here, let's say instead you've got a blank column. Well, in that case, you want to change from say nine to 10, or maybe you have a bunch of columns hidden. So keep in mind that if there's hidden columns or blank columns, you need to account for those as well. So um, keep that in mind if you get an error and you're wondering what that might be. That might be the cause. I'm gonna hit comma again, and now I want, do I want it to go a true match or um, an exact match? I'm gonna go true, an approximate match. Uh, double click on that, it goes true. Now I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna hit enter. It'll pull me back over here because that's where we started. And you see view count 435 uh, with that one, 435, right? Well, I wanted to do it for all of them. Easy enough, just pull it on down until you get to the end. And we can see, so my last one, this one here is view count 8007. And if I do a quick search, there we go. 
8007, even though it's line 247 on this sheet. And that's how you do a VLOOKUP to pull data from one tab to another tab. A tip that you might try, especially if you keep getting, so let's say, let's get rid of this. So let's say you do something like you click into this while you're working and you accidentally mess something up and you start getting a weird error, like that sometimes happens, right? Um, something I think is a good tip when creating your VLOOKUPs is to copy them into a notepad. So that way, like if there is an error happening, you can just recopy it over into there. Um, or as you're creating, you, you like, okay, I tried this, but maybe we did this by mistake, right? I'm gonna keep that. So you didn't click over to the other tab like you were supposed to. And so this is what you typed in. And you're like, well, what's, what's wrong? See, so now what it's doing is it's pulling this because basically it's saying, okay, give me the data from A2 and looking up in A2 on this one. And it's like, well, what? That doesn't make any sense, right? And so now I know, okay, well, that query didn't work. So now I'll go down here and I'll go, okay, well, let's say we know the first part's correct. And now maybe that second part correct. And then you can go like, you know, C2 and then work your way through it. So it's just kind of a, a, a little tip there on something that might help you if you're finding that you keep getting an error, copy the previous query that you use, the VLOOKUP, the previous VLOOKUP that you used and make a note of it so that way you know, okay, well, that didn't work. How can I change this and keep trying it? And then, then you've got a record so that you don't um, just keep kind of running around in a circle trying to figure it out. And um, yeah, hopefully that uh, solves your problem. I'm not an Excel expert, so if you get an error and you leave a comment, I might not be able to help you, but if I can, I will, or maybe somebody else will be able to respond to your question and help you out. Or maybe this will work perfectly for you first time around. Good luck.